Hello guys, how you doing? It's Charlie. Welcome to the video. Uh, this is a quick tips video. The idea of the quick tips videos is that they're no more than five minutes. A really quick, just something to get you playing. Um, it might be something that you already know about, something that you want to know about. Might just be a chord, might be a power chord, might be a scale, might be a lick, something like that, just to get you moving, uh, to bring us away from kind of always doing a course, always get, getting a song learned. So just something quick to, to have a go at and uh, hopefully something to enjoy. So uh, we're going a little bit jazzy today. So just as a precursor, if you're not kind of versed in kind of rough jazz chords or, or, or kind of extensions, might be something to kind of come back to, but feel free to give it a go anyway. Because um, it's only five minutes, I, I'm not going to go through and explain every chord, but I just assume that you kind of got a rough knowledge of uh, your kind of minor nines and things like that. So we're going to start with a D minor nine, a G13, sorry, it's G, G13, and then put a six nine on the end. Normally you'd put like a, a, a C major seven there, which is which is lovely, but we're going to put. Okay, it's just got a different sound to it. it sounds it's very guitar-y. It sounds beautiful on guitar because of everything's kind of well. There's a lot of fourths in there, so it works particularly well. So that's just something worth being aware of, all right? So the six nine that we're using today, um, we're going to be middle finger on your third fret of your fifth string. Your first finger is going to bar across fourth string and third string on the second fret. Then your third finger, uh, third finger is going to jump in third fret second string, and then your little finger is on the top. Um, of, of your, your high E string at 3rd fret. That's it, alright, that gives you root, 3rd, 6th, ninth, and your 5th again, alright? That's obviously movable, make sure you move it. So that's really cool, higher up the net you get that lovely kind of tang, uh, it sounds really good. Um, okay, then we'll move up, so we've got a root on the 6th string, so let's go up and do it in C, let's keep it simple. Middle finger, 6th string, 8th fret, ignore the 5th string, Okay, but you're going to bar across with your first finger across the uh, fourth string and third string of the seventh fret, and then your third finger is going to jump in on the eighth fret second string, and then your little finger is going to hit the eighth fret top string. Okay, so that gives you root, ignore the fifth string, sixth, ninth, fifth, and root again. Okay, so those are slightly different sounds. Don't have to play your top string, I often just have that. Sounds cool. Right. You can also extend that a little bit if we go back to our fifth string root. Okay, so we're going to have, uh, so we had uh, fifth string, third fret, first finger bars across um, strings four and three. Your third finger jumps on the uh, third fret, second string. Now, if you whack your little finger on that sixth fret, that gives that's actually the sixth again, an octave, an octave higher. So now we get uh, root, third, sixth, ninth. And again, it's just a different kind of uh, tone, okay? It's just a different sound. And if particularly if you're kind of voice leading with that A on top, you know, it kind of, it's nice to keep that in there. Another thing to come on to later maybe with voice leading. Do exactly the same at your eighth fret shape. Middle finger, sixth, uh, sixth string. Um, your first finger bars, ignore the fifth string, first finger bars across the fourth and third string at seventh fret, your third finger jumps on eighth fret the second string, you put your little finger up at uh, the top tenth fret, and that will give you a nine on the top. So in this instant you've got root, uh, sixth, ninth, fifth, and ninth. Same thing, you need to get it kind of nice. Sounds beautiful. So it's just a little thing to hopefully spice up your playing a little bit, guys. Give it a little go. Uh, try it in context. Obviously, move it around a little bit um, and just try to get used to forming. It can be a little bit of a pain with that bar. Um, people do struggle that with, with that a little bit. But generally, for the moment, let's use it in context. Let's think of it as a major chord. kind of replaces the major seven or the major six. Um, so it's, it's, it's a, just a different sound and it really pricks people's ears up. Um, doing it in your kind of three chord uh, pop song probably won't work so well, um, but definitely over the kind of jazzier, uh, jazzier stuff it, it should work. Anyway, we've got to go. We're under five minutes, so I'll see you on the next one.